Good morning, students. Welcome to RPS Group of Schools. Online classes of science. Today, we will discuss module 3 of the continued part of the chapter Microorganisms. In the previous module, we learned about the microorganism called fungi. We studied characteristics of fungi, structure, classification, and reproduction in fungi. In this module, the learning objectives are about the microorganism algae and another one called protozoa. Let's start with algae. What are the characteristics of algae? Algae are simple, primitive, referred to as plant-like organisms that are usually photosynthetic and aquatic in nature. Algae are simple unicellular or multicellular organisms containing chlorophyll, that is the green pigment essential for the process of photosynthesis. Hence, they are autotrophic in nature. Algae have a haloid body instead of true roots, stems and leaves. What is thaloid body? A plant body that is not differentiated into stem, roots, leaves, etc. and lacks true roots and a vascular system. This type of thaloid or thallus are generally found or typically found in algae, fungi, lichens and liverworts. Algae do not have vascular tissue but have simple reproductive structures. Algae may be unicellular or multicellular and may occur in different forms like filamentous or branch-like structures. Even some algae lives in colonies. Algae live in water. So they are also called grass of water. They are found in fresh water, marine water and are also called sea weeds and can, found, can be found in damp environments. They may grow on the barks of trees, moist soil and on the surfaces of damp rocks forming a slippery green layer. The algae range in size from minute phytoplanktons to giant marine kelp. Their size ranges from one micron to several meters. Algae are of different color such as brown, red, green, blue-green, etc because other than chlorophyll they contain pigments that mask the green color of the chlorophyll and make the algae appear colorful let's study the classification of algae which is based on the type of pigments present algae can be green in color the examples are Spirogyra, ball box. Some are brown in color. Examples are fucus and laminaria. Some are red in color, also called red algae. Example are polysiphonia and gallidium. Apart from the pigments, the classification of algae can be done on the basis of the number of cells. If it is a unicellular algae, that is made up of single cell. The examples are Chlamydomonas diatom. The other is multicellular algae, 
that is made up of many cells. The examples are kelp, brown algae, etc. Some algae lives in colonies. The example is Volvox. Let's discuss the reproduction in algae. Reproduction in algae takes place by either vegetative method or asexual method. Vegetative reproduction takes place by the process called fragmentation. Each fragment develops into thallus. What is fragmentation? A form of asexual reproduction wherein a parent organism breaks or splits into fragments and these each fragment is capable of growing independently into a new organism and are identical to their parents. The other mode of reproduction is asexual reproduction that takes place by spore formation. Here, the production of different types of spores, also called zoospores, are flagellated and motile and on germination give rise to new individuals. Let's come to the another classification that is protozoa. What are the general characteristics of protozoa? Protozoa are primitive, unicellular and microscopic organisms. Some of them live independently while others live as parasites. They are found in a variety of places such as pools, ditches, tanks, soils, inside the human bodies even. Many of the parasitic protozoan causes disease in plants, domestic animals and human beings. Size of the protozoan varies from 2 to 200 microns. Some common example of Protozoans are amoeba, plasmodium, paramecium, euglena, etc. All protozoa have heterotrophic mode of nutrition. That is, they depend on they depend on others for their food, except euglena, which is a autotrophic in nature. Most protozoans occur singly but some form colonies also. They do not possess cell wall as in plant cells but their body is covered with pellicle. Pellicle is a thin layer supporting the cell membrane in various protozoa. These protozoa can swim using either flagella or cilia, hair-like structures or for locomotion or can move with the help of pseudopodia. Reproduction in protozoa. Protozoa produced by binary fission, multiple fission or by fragmentation. What is fission? It is that type of asexual reproduction in which a fully grown parental organism divides into two or more than two daughter cells. Another method is fragmentation. Here, the parent breaks into multiple pieces on maturity, each of which gives rise to a new individual seen in simple multicellular organisms like protozoa. Let's talk about the benefits of protozoa or some beneficial protozoa. Protozoans form an important link in the aquatic food chain. They feed on algae 
and in turn are eaten up by larger aquatic organisms. Protozoans living in the gut of ruminants help in the digestion of cellulose. With this, we end up the module 3. We'll join you soon with the further module of this chapter. Till then, take good care of yourself, students. Goodbye.